This is Motospeed CK62 keyboard. It's a 65 key keyboard. Really beautiful and compact and quite high quality materials used on it. As you see on the back you have the USB-C. These are the spring loaded keys. And here you can actually see the copper inside. Yep, it's real copper. The side has that just small incline that takes the shape of a real nice ergonomic keyboard on the back you have four rubber feet that will not let it move around on your table and the noise is the best part that does it for me i hope the microphone is picking it and doing it justice how good it actually sounds and yep on the back, you have the button to turn it on, just right here. Turn it this way, and the keyboard now is on. As you see, the keys light up in this mode, for example. So, before we go to the lights and I turn off the studio lights to show you, we're gonna check what it does. First of all, you can connect it via Bluetooth, and you can connect it via direct cable if you wish so from the back here on a USB-C, yes it comes with it if you charge it it will last you for quite a while or you can just use it without the bluetooth at all and just connect it directly with wire now to go through the lights you hold this fn right here and you have the m1 m2 and all that stuff that you go like that let me turn off the lights really quick and see the actual lights of the keyboard itself and now we have most of the lights turned off and this is the keyboard and as you see this is one of the modes in the lighting let's switch it to a different mode as you see this is just kind of a static wave uh, hopefully the camera is seeing it good let's go here as you see this is that breathing up and down really beautiful click it again that's next color or next mode Click it again, you have the wave mode that goes from the middle to the sides. Click it again, you have the other mode, as you see that they go around almost like a spinning motion. This is the wave or wiper motion with different colors. And this one is from the other angle. There's so many modes on this one. As you see, this one, for example, is one of my favorites. Right now, I can just click. As you see, wherever you click, it lights up. It goes from the middle or wherever that button is, like a splash, as you see on the sides. This is really beautiful, and it splashes the light on the row that you type. Look at that. This is absolutely beautiful. Next mode is a splash, but like arrows. As you see, instead of only one line, it does all the keyboard. This is really beautiful. And the next light is this one without arrows. Next light, is this one here that just keeps this kind of going through all the buttons. That's like an ocean wave. Really beautiful, by the way. It looks almost as if there's a screen under it. Let me go to the other mode. Yeah, this is actually beautiful. I love this one. Now this is just side to side. And this should be just turned off. Yep. Now the lights are turned off. Click it again. You go to normal light. And this one, the key fade slowly turns on and fade slowly after you press it. This is really good when you're typing a lot to make sure what's the last key you typed. I really like that. Look at that. Almost like some kind of magic we're talking about here. <laughs> okay, let's go, and I think we are... Oh, this one is, yeah. As you see, it turns it off and back on slowly, almost the opposite of the previous one. Letter F, for example, is on. You press it, goes off and back on. Just like that, and they turn on back slowly. This is really a beautifully built keyboard. All the lights and all that cool stuff. And this is, whether you use it for gaming or for office, that is up to you. This is absolutely a beauty. In my opinion, it's worth every single penny that was ever paid for this one. And uh, I'm not sure if they're still available at this point. I will leave a link anyway to amazon in case they come back 
This I know for some reason this one is not an easy keyboard to come by and I don't say that because I want you to buy it or not. I could care less about that part. But seriously, it is one of those keyboards that's not easy to come by online based on what I've seen. And yes, I got it from, you know, kind of third party means because I really wanted this and I wanted to show it to you because it just kind of struck an interest nerve with me to make sure that I show you how good this keyboard does. And uh, besides that, really, there's not much else to say. It's I would say it's around 300 something grams. It, it has some heft to it. And yes, under the keycaps, it is actual uh, metal. It's not plastic. So it is high quality. When I say high quality, it is high quality. Let me take one, the, one of the keys or two of the keys out really quick. Just to show you, yep, I'm not sure if the camera will focus there, but you see it's metal. And yeah, this is probably, in my opinion, one of those most beautiful keyboards, minimalist keyboards that money can buy. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you want to go take a look at it. And uh, yeah, I hope you find one, actually. Based on what I see, they are not easy to come by. Again, this was Moto Speed CK62. Bluetooth and wireless <coughs> wired keyboard USB-C. And we'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye.